You are listening to the Winner's Ways Podcast with Bola Halabi, episode number 73. Would you like to win and achieve success in what you do? Welcome to the Winner's Ways Podcast, where we create winners every day. And now your host, the author of Winner's Ways book and life coach, Bola Alabi. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of the Winner's Ways podcast, where it's all about your career, your money, and the motivation to live life to the fullest. I'm going to be picking up where we stopped from the last time, where we discussed ugly money habits to avoid, and that was episode 72. Please check it out if you haven't listened to it yet. That should come before this one. Today's show is going to be about bad money habits to stop immediately. And again, last week, I introduced my new book, Power to Hand. Please check it out on Amazon. All you need to do is type my name, Adebola Halabi. You'll see all my books on Amazon. So check it out. It's a good book if you want to learn how to earn as much as you desire so that you can maintain your lifestyle. You are going to learn the rules of money and you are going to learn how to make money work for you. So part of earn is out. Please check it out. Pick a copy. It's on Kindle. And it's only $2.99. So back to today's show, bad money habits to quit. When it comes to money management, you know now that there are good habits and bad habits. Good habits stimulate your pockets and help you to build wealth. While bad habits rob you of your future. The bad money habits are practices of managing money poorly, which you need to stop immediately. These habits are harmful in the long run if left unchecked. And to succeed and be happy with your financial situation, you must desist from these habits. So I'm going to go over them talk about uh, each of them and give you an idea of how to deal with them. So without further ado, let's go into today's show, Bad Money Habits to Stop Immediately. The number one, spending without budget. Your budget is meant to give you control over where your money goes, when it goes there, and how much of your money goes there. A budget is a carefully planned money management tool that lets you allocate your money according to your priority. So if you don't budget, if you don't plan your money, that's a bad money habit, and you should stop it immediately. Because without a budget, there is a high chance that you will spend more than necessary and if you consistently overspend you will soon run into trouble because you will get into debt if you get into debt you will realize that you are constantly needing to work and earn more money and you'll be living paycheck to paycheck and you'll join the rat race that's not a good way to live your life You need to create a budget if you don't already have one and make sure you follow your budget because your budget gives you power over your money. So that's number one, spending without budgeting. It's a bad money habit. You need to stop it immediately by creating your budget. Number two, 
pay only the minimum on your credit card balance. If you have any credit card debt, you must avoid paying only the minimum amount due on this card because doing this will only keep you in debt for too long. Making only the minimum due payment may seem convenient in the short term, yet it is not suitable for your financial standing in the long run because you will end up paying more in interest, making your bank richer, and you are taking your money away from other essential things that you need to spend money on. So if you have any credit card debt, you should therefore make sure you make it a priority to pay it off as soon as possible. And if it requires you to pick up extra job, you should consider doing it so you can achieve that goal. Check out my website, Winners Ways. There are tons of articles that I've written in the past on how you can actually make more money or how to cut down your expenses. So number two, paying only the minimum on your credit card is a bad money habit and you must stop it immediately. Number three, paying for services you don't use. In a world that is full of subscription services, it is too easy now to find that you've subscribed to too many services that you may not even need. For example, in most US homes, many people now have access to multiple streaming services for entertainment purposes. Let's think about it for a minute. Why do you need to have Netflix account, Amazon Prime Video, Hulu account, Showtime, HBO, Disney Plus, Apple Plus TV, all of them at the same time? That's too much. You are paying for what you don't use. Now, if you find out that you have not used any of these services for a month or two, you should consider cancelling them so that you can put your money to another use. The same goes for your gym membership or magazine subscriptions or any subscription services that you don't regularly use or you no longer in need of. You should consider cancelling it because paying for services you don't use is a bad money habit. Stop it. Number four, putting off retirement planning. Whether we like it or not, we will all get old someday. And when you get old, you will need to retire. Not planning or saving for retirement is a poor practice that you must stop immediately. If you don't have a retirement plan, you are like someone embarking on a journey without any plan or packing any of his essential items. When he arrives at his destination, where will he stay? What will he wear? And what will he do once he gets there? He has no plan. That's the situation for so many people that don't plan for retirement. They leave their life to chances. They are invariably saying that they want to depend on the government or friends or families to take care of them once they are no longer able to work. Doing this is not a way to succeed retirement-wise and it is a poor money habit to stop immediately. Number five, saving money after spending. It is a bad money habit to spend all your money only to later want to find a way to save money. You should first save before spending. Don't spend and try to save. 
you are putting it in reverse order. The rich get richer because they have plans. They prioritize saving and investing. And if you want to be successful in managing your money, you should probably learn from those that have already done it. It is tough to save when you don't make saving a priority. And without saving money, it will be challenging to invest money and therefore difficult to accumulate wealth. And that's where I'm stopping today. I shared five bad money habits that you need to stop immediately. I told you that spending without budgeting is not good. You should stop it. Paying only the minimum on your credit card balance, you must stop that. Paying for services you don't use, you need to stop that. Not planning for retirement and saving after spending. Those are not good habits. This bad money habit must be stopped immediately to avoid the negative consequence of ending up broke without money in your account. And that's it for today. I hope you learned something from this show. I'm creating this show to support you, to guide you on how to best manage your money. Till next time again, this is Bola Halabi. Please don't forget to rate and review this show. And don't forget to check out my new book, Power to Earn. It's now on Amazon. You are going to learn tons of ways to earn more money. If you are currently earning below what you desire, you are going to know what you need to do in order to step up and take control of your life. I want you to be a winner. And that's why I'm creating these episodes. Thank you for joining me. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Till next time. This episode of Winner's Ways Podcast has come to a close. We hope you enjoy and learn something from today's show. We want you to win and excel in all areas of your life. And we regularly explore and share information with our listeners to empower them to win. Be sure to subscribe to our podcast for more tips and strategies to help you find the success that you've always dreamt of. And don't forget to rate and review so that we can continue to bring you more podcast episodes to empower you. We will love to have you again next week. Now, keep winning. Thank <laughs> you.